Hello, my name is Christopher Cutts, and we're at the Christopher Cutts Gallery, and we're presently hosting a new exhibition, a work by senior artist Ed Salanak. And right behind me, we're looking at one of Ed's new works. Now, Ed's a sculptor. However, as you can see, this particular uh, body of work is, uh, has all, they're all wall dependent uh, works. And of course, they're re relief, as you can see. So wh what you see here is in this Kong cave dish is actually a copper dish that's hand pounded and then all of this silver here is actually tin. Ed literally paints with the tin. It would be like a soldering type of thing so he's melting that all over and then you so that central sort of moonlight uh, sun-like shape and he calls them part moon part sun that whole body of work and then you see these elements here uh, are all cast tin stars it's placed on a, a plexi background, which has been etched to give it a little bit of fog, and then that is mounted on a wooden panel. Ed's not afraid to show you the process involved, so he doesn't try to make everything tidy and clean. So you see smudge marks. In some cases, you'll see pencil marks when he's figuring out things. The presence of the artist's hand is in the work. This, these particular pieces are called Musing in the In-Between, and what we have here is a uh, copper dish again, you see uh, a crescent moonlight shape. So this is, the, once again, that moon, the sunlight shape w with the cast tin stars mounted on plexiglass. Now, because it's etched a little bit, it has a bit of a tooth, so then he's painted. So this is actually gouache painted over. It has a wonderful painterly quality about it. And then what you see inside here, that very rich uh, inner surface, is actually copper sulfate, which he mixes into a soup, and then he paints it onto the copper uh, dish and of course it crystallizes and gives you this almost you know, otherworldly moonlight quality. Then the color is actually pigment so he gets powdered pigment and he brushes those in you know from this deeper blue to a little bit more of a powdery blue quality here. Uh, once again hand pounded uh, the copper sphere and then the paint it with the tin alloy. You see a little bit of a hint of a crescent here crescent moon. Of course, then the, the composition is filled. This one's quite central with these tin stars again. And then the etched surface. Ed is a, a seeker, and this is pretty consistent with his approach to making art. The sort of archetypical circular imagery has been with him for, for decades. Distant Realms, the title is, is a thought-provoking one, to think about uh, uh, otherworldly things, but things that are very connected to us that means something to us in our life, whether it's something that's uh, far away or very close, macro or micro. I think that's what uh, Eddie is uh, heading towards with this particular title, Distance Realms. You know, it's the journey of a seeker to find the truth.